Ten days to go, this is your election central. Flag bearer of the new patriotic party, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, has begun the continuation of his tour in the greater Accra region, starting from the Ayawaso central constituency. He first visited the Malamata market, where he engaged traders and urged them to vote for him in the upcoming general elections. Correspondent Derek Adote is on the grounds and brings us some updates on what the VIP is, uh, the VIP's tour is going. Hello, Derek. Hello, Ami. Yes, I can hear yes. you. Thank you. I, I, so I'm seeing some very energetic scenes uh, from the tour. If you can take us through what exactly, uh, is, he, is he entering the, the butcher shop or what? <laughs> what's, what's going on? What can you tell us? Hmm. Right, so currently we are at the Hebron Prayer Center uh, where the Vice President of the NPC flag bearer is engaging with stakeholders within the constituency. But before coming here, we were at the Malamata market where the NPC flag bearer interacted with some market women um, which urged them to vote for him in the upcoming election and to share some of his policies with them that is, is meant to support their work. See, among them is the Trade Empowerment Fund, which is going to be established for women traders to give them some support in their work and to expand their businesses. Also, to go a long way to um, mitigate the unemployment gap we have in the country. Another is the flat tax system, which is going to ensure that the goods that are imported by traders are at a flat rate so that the taxes don't change due to infl in inflation and then the uh, distance and then the journey, the distance it took to get into the country. And so these are some of the policies we share with the traders. But currently we are at the Hebron Prayer Center where the Vice President has met with stakeholders, including chiefs, imams, uh, supporters, and then some of the residents within the constituency to also share with them some of the policies he plans to implement if given the nod to become president. And this constituency is particularly key for the Vice President or the MPP flag bearer because in the 2020 election, they lost the presidential race but won the parliamentary race. And so it's only necessary for the MPP flag bearer to come here and then to share with them the reasons why they should give him the nod to become president. And here among some of the policies he's been speaking on is the Ghana First policy, um, and ex extension or the promotion of the free senior high school policy. Uh, you know, one of the campaigns that the MPP has relied heavily on is the free SHS. Another that he's been speaking about is the mechanization of agriculture to really digitalize the agri sector and to promote agriculture in the country and, and many, many more that he's been speaking on just to urge them to vote for him. From here, we'll be going back to Ayawaso Central to visit some more traders and to greet some more traders and then um, also visit some transport stations after which we'll head on to Abdesma Central, specifically Abu Sokai, and then the vice president or the flag bearer of the MPP will also be engaging the traders in Abu Sokai. So this is the itinerary of the vice president. And really, he has had some warm reception. You, you can see from the videos how the traders are welcoming him. Same here in, 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 in Sawa Madrid, um, where we see a lot, a lot of party supporters and party faithfuls coming out for the, for the MPP flag bearer. And so this is what's been happening here. Anyway. Right. Um, um, Derek, can we continue with the Vice President as you come through uh, subsequently with other reports? But some of the market women also spoke with Derek Adote uh, as he, um, you know, walk or take a walk through the tour with the Vice President. <laughs> Possible. Yeah, that's possible. 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 possible